Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic foodie adventure just for you and just for you. We are in the amazing city of Anaheim, California, and I am here for VidCon 2022. And before I came here on one of my live streams, I asked everybody if they've been in this area, what would they recommend? And Kyle recommended Rubio's, I think that's how you say it, and, and he recommended the fish tacos. Let's go in there, grab a couple tacos, see if Kyle has good taste buds or not. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Brand shrimp. Chipotle honey. What the hey? Hello. How are you doing? I would love to try your uh, original fish tacos. Okay, and I also want to try your, your wild-caught mahi-mahi, please. Can we try your roasted chipotle salsa, please? And then I'm going to do one of these toffee crunch things. So I have a two taco, two taco blade, chicken noodles, mahi taco, on the side, a toffee crunch on the Fantastic, thank you very much. Oh, that's just too sexy. All right, Kyle. Trying to find a shady spot in these parking lots sometimes is a trick. But guess what I brought today, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Canada, the trusty steering wheel tray. And it fits. Nice. I'm glad she didn't give me two full meals because that's what I thought I was gonna get the way I ordered it. I got a fork just in case. Oh my goodness. Uh, toffee Crunch Blondie. Then we've got a couple salsa things. I'm hoping I got a great one. All right, so. Here's my bonus taco. So I think I, the only thing I wish I had done differently was uh, add the um, uh, the shrimp taco. That would have been brilliant. So sometimes when you get these coconut infused things, sometimes there's bits and pieces inside. Never had this one before. So yeah, let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. I love coconut when I'm eating tacos. Or Caribbean food, too. Uh, oh, nice, light, and refreshing. Tastes like a uh, pina colada. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this bonus taco over here. Oh, the mahi-mahi. The mahi-mahi. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about the wing, guys. Uh, I do have, like, a little muff thing on there. But uh, let's go in for a close-up, shall we? All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this amazing meal. Over here, we have the original fish tacos. You can see the fish hiding down there underneath all that lettuce. We've got some chips. We've got some dips. And I think that's uh, the bean dip. It looks like there's some uh, cheese in there as well. And then look at that beautiful mahi-mahi. I'm definitely going to have to revisit and uh, come back and do all their shrimp meals. Let me know in the comments below 
how badly you want me to revisit this place and eat all their shrimp stuff. Let's try some of their chips first. Ooh, look at that beautiful salsa. Nice, crunchy. The salsa is nice and light. Salty. Definitely, definitely tastes like somebody made it today. It tastes fresh and light. Just trying not to get it on me. Okay. So, I'm thinking we definitely have to do their fish taco first. Out of the two choices we have. I was looking at the menu, it doesn't look like they have anything like, like a combo thing where you can like pick three different tacos. But uh, anyway, here we go guys. Cheers, I'm not sure if I should pour some of this on there. Am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna try it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. Kyle, dude, can you hear? Can you hear the crunching going on in my mouth right now? That's what it sounds like in my ears. Wow, Rubio's. That fish is super crunchy, tasty. I love the soft corn tortillas. Whenever I hear corn tortilla, my brain instantly thinks those hard shells that you'd buy in the grocery store. Growing up as a kid, whenever we had tacos, there was always those hard, crunchy ones that you bit, all fell apart. It was a disaster. Love these and the flour ones, but uh, corn is better. Let's get a discussion going, shall we? What is better, corn or flour? Start writing. I'm gonna keep eating. Oh, you think I can get that whole thing in my mouth? Ooh la la. How about it, good. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. I knew I could. Once again, guys, let me know in the comments below what this is. I'm guessing it's a bean dip, but what, do you just eat it here or do you put it on your taco? I don't know. A lot of people think it's amazing. I don't know a whole lot of stuff about Mexican food. I don't know a whole lot of stuff about anything, but especially Mexican food, because when you're brought up in Scarborough, Ontario, Canada, not a whole lot of Mexican stuff going on up there. And the, the closest thing we came to uh, a taco was those hard shells that you buy in a box. That's good. I just don't know if I'm supposed to do anything with it. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Mahi, mahi, corn, lettuce, some type of a sauce going down the hatch. <laughs> I just got a kick to it. Wow. I don't know which one I like better. They are both phenomenal. The fish taco has that crunch and the fish flavors and stuff. This one has the soft fish flaky mahi mahi flavors and then it's got some kick to it whatever that spice was that i picked that i chose i think yeah, it was the bottom one chipotle wasn't it mm. Mm. that is very very good phenomenal kyle thank you man wasn't 100% sure. I really, really love tacos down here. 
in California, IA, but Rubio's takes the cake. Mmm. Phenomenal. So let everybody know in the comments below where is your favorite taco place. Right now, Rubio's is definitely the place to go. Uh, Kyle suggested it. I tried it. I love it. I'm going to come back next time I'm in California, IA. Mmm. Really crunchy. Nice and flaky. Last bite of this piece of heaven. Mm. Mm. I just can't believe all those different flavors and textures all coming together in perfect harmony. Perfect. And you get to wash it all down with this thing. This is a perfect match, by the way, just in case you didn't know. Last but not least, the toffee crunch. Last but not least, Sweet Street. Is it Sweet Street? Sweet Street Toffee Crunch. Last but not least, Sweet Street Toffee Crunch Blondie. Never seen these in my life. They look good. Oh my gosh. It is a hefty chunk of heavenly goodness. Look at that. Does that look dense or what? Yeah, it does, Ken. Looks like big chunks of chocolate. Let's just break it nice and slow. Oh boy. Oh, look how soft. It looks like dough. Like barely cooked. Oh, look at that coming apart. Coming apart. Oh my. Kind of reminds me of a date. A date square. Mmm. It tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. I like that. Like, who wouldn't like that? <laughs> it's soft. Sweet. Squishy. Delectable. Marvelous. How about that? Mm. Decadent. There's another one. All of them. I was only going to say one, but I couldn't stop. Oh, that's good. It's like crunchy. Uh, there's nuts in there. Can't figure out what kind of nut. Ooh la la. Yeah, it kind of pulls. Oh, yeah. You, I'm getting that toffee. I didn't get the toffee in the first couple bites for some reason. But now I'm getting it. It was like all over here or something. I think I was just so excited about eating something so delicious. Mm. Quiet. Quick little rinse. Ah. All right, guys, we are all done here at Rubio's in the Anaheim Plaza. Thank you very much, Kyle, for letting me know about Rubio's. Next time I come down here, I'm definitely gonna hit them up again and do like every single uh, shrimp item on the menu because it all looks delicious i'd like to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you guys for watching liking commenting subscribing to this channel and of course all my channel members on this channel on my vlog channel and of course all my patrons on both my channels you guys are all amazing awesome supporters if you enjoyed this video as much as i did Hit it with a thumbs up, ding, da, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that awesome playlist I dumped down over there, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.